Senator Al Franken broke down on the Senate floor today as he paid tribute to his friend Paul Wellstone. Today marks the 15th anniversary of the death of the former Minnesota senator. The last time I saw Paul was at a 2002 campaign event in St. Paul, uh, just weeks before he died. Wellstone, his wife Sheila, their daughter Marsha, and staffers Tom Lappick, Mary McAvoy, and Will McLaughlin died in a plane crash in Eveleth just 11 days before the 2002 election. The two pilots also died in the crash. From his days as an activist professor at Carleton College to his upset win of a U.S. Senate seat to his votes against both Gulf Wars. Esme Murphy shows us how Wellstone's legacy lives on in those he inspired and the grassroots nonprofit that bears his name. Even Paul Wellstone didn't quite believe it when a WCCO-TV reporter told him in 1990 he was a senator-elect. Our exit polls show that you have won. Is that right? 53 to 47 is what they're telling me. Okay, well that sounds pretty good. Does that sound pretty good? His supporters erupted. <laughs> Outspent 7 to 1, he had ridden a rundown green campaign bus around the state. Starred in some low budget, iconic commercials. Unlike my opponent, I don't have six million dollars, so I'm going to have to talk fast. And upset a sitting U.S. Senator, Rudy Boschwitz. We never really had all the money, but I had you. It was the start of a career championing progressive policies in the U.S. Senate. U.S. Senator Al Franken broke down on the U.S. Senate floor as he described how Wellstone was a mentor who continues to inspire him. Paul's life and his work meant a lot to me too. His example is a tireless, passionate champion for working families, for veterans, for farmers, and for those who simply needed a voice. I've inspired my own time in the Senate. Wellstone Action is a nonprofit grassroots organization group founded after the senator's death. There are 11 workers in this St. Paul office and 11 other full-time staff scattered around the country, promoting progressive causes and campaigns. We train well over 2,000 a year. We have over 90,000 folks in our alumni and over 1,000 of those currently serve in elected office. Esme Murphy, WCCO, 4 News. As we mentioned, Senator Wellstone died just 11 days before the 2002 November election. Former Vice President Walter Mondale was quickly drafted to run in his place. Mondale lost the general election to Norm Coleman.